Okay, hi guys. So today I'm going to be doing a video on fresh out of the shower fragrances for both men and women. So what I mean by fresh out of the shower is these are fragrances that I recommend that when you get a shower and you've just got out the shower, it's steamy, your skin is hot, you just want something refreshing to put on. At least that's how I feel. Like when I get out the shower, I like to wear a fragrance straight away, but I never want it to be like something like Interlude from Amouage or uh, I don't know, Delino Exclusive from Parfum de Mali. Like I'm just using these as an example because they're pretty intense fragrances. I want something refreshing. I want something invigorating. I want something sharp to wake me up or just something that makes me feel clean and awake. So I have like quite a few recommendations. So let's just jump straight into the video. I'm going to start out with women and I will leave like a timestamp of when I start talking about the men's as well. So let's get into it. First fragrance is from Jo Malone. I'm going to run through these pretty quickly because I don't want my videos to be too long anymore. I want to keep you guys like your attention. So the first one is Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Now I adore the scent that this is like the scent itself is incredible the longevity is terrible but the scent itself is amazing so this is a fresh uh, a salty aquatic a little bit sweet there's some grapefruit some fruitiness to it like a little bit this like a uh, very fresh it, the scent itself is pretty hard to describe but it's very intoxicating to me like the scent itself is intoxicating and it's perfect when you just come out of the shower you want to spritz yourself with something but it's not going to bother you too much this is the scent here so wood sage and sea salt from Jo Malone next fragrance is Dolce & Gabbana's light blue O intense of course this is just one of the best straight out of the shower citrusy a little fruity again a tiny bit of a floral touch but for me it's mostly like citruses like a sweet citrus with a little bit of a floral hint it's just beautiful like this fragrance is really really good and it's always going to be my collection this or the original version one or the other will always be my collection because it's just such a great scent especially out of the shower for me so Dolce & Gabbana light blue O intense the next one is a little more expensive. This is Chanel's Gardenia from the Less Exclusives. Again, watery, sharp Gardenia. Like it's very uh, floral. This scent is very floral. And the Gardenia is very crisp. Like it's not this like creamy, rich Gardenia. It's more like this crisp, sharp, watery, um, intense floral scent. Like there's a definite sharpness to the fragrance and for me it's perfect straight out of the shower like i really love wearing this one just straight out of the shower i don't pull for this one very much in any other situation for me it's an out of the shower fragrance so gardenia from chanel next up we have kaali's citrus 08 now i only recently started using this one straight out of the shower and i love it again a little similar to like light blue for instance but i actually prefer this one at the moment it's a, a little fruity, some citrusiness, some like a aromatic touches to it as well. It's just a really great scent. I think there's a little bit of rose in here too, if I'm not wrong, but it's just a fantastic fragrance, like a little fruity citrus with a bit of a floral touch as well. But I love this fragrance. And for me, it's more of an out of the shower sort of scent. So Kaali Citrus 08. So you guys want to know about the longevity? Most of the fresh out of the shower fragrances don't last too long. I would say like four hours. So yeah, I'll mention if one lasts like a really long time. Uh, but for the most part, if you're expecting just something fresh out of the shower, usually they don't last too long. Ooh, this one. This one is one of my personal favorites. Christian Dior's Pure Poison. Wow. This is like one of my favorite go-to fresh out of the shower scents. And this one does last a lot longer than four hours. For me, this one lasts like six hours ish on my skin if I spray quite a lot pure poison clean crisp white flowers it is just beautiful it smells like clean laundry and white flowers it's a little soapy as well there's definitely some soapy touches but for me it's just incredible and I actually know for a fact that a lot of guys love this fragrance I don't know why though like I I do because the scent is beautiful but I would usually think that they would like something more like sweet and like girly but this one is very feminine very clean 
uh, very classy sort of fragrance, but I know a lot of men love it. So just keep that in mind. Pure Poison from Dior, one of my favorite out of the shower scents. The next fragrance is from Amouage and this is Reflection. And it's a little dirty because I was doing a photo with it when I was in Dubai and I had it in the pool. So it's a little uh, gross looking right now, but don't mind it. So Reflection to me, it's definitely not my favorite fragrance from Amouage whatsoever, but straight out of the shower, it's fantastic. Again, watery, like florals, like these watery white flowers with a bit of a green touch to it. Yeah, for me, it smells like a little bit like white flowers in a garden with water. Like literally that's what it smells like to me, like dewy white flowers in a green garden. Very crisp, it's not aggressive, it's not too much at all. So for me, this one is definitely like an out of the shower scent, something that you just pull for, it's easy, it smells good, it's fresh, it's clean, and I really love it. But like I said, it's not my favorite from Amouage, but out of the shower, this one is great. Next up we have Roger Parfum's Elixir Parfum. Oh, I die for this fragrance at the moment, I'm obsessed with it. It's, oh my god, it's beautiful, you guys. It's a very beautiful, peachy, uh, powdery, slightly powdery, not too much. It's still got a freshness to it. It's still got a little bit of a citrusy burst to it, which I love. I think it's raspberry actually that's in here or peach. I can't remember, but to me it has this peachy, fruity sort of smell to it, but it's not too much. That's why I'm still recommending it for out of the shower. It's still got a transparency to it. The fragrance definitely has a transparency. So it's not like a something really intense and powdery and floral. It is floral, but it's more of a transparent floral with the peachiness, the softness. It's just gorgeous. And I love this one straight out of the shower as well. So Roger Parfum's Elixir Parfum. Next up, we have another Christian Dior, and this is Gridior, my little baby. But I haven't worn Gridior for a while, actually. Um, amazing, straight out of the shower. It's a Shepra fragrance, but it's much more, again, watery and ethereal. Uh, some Shepras, like most Shepras, actually, are very intense. They're very earthy, patchouli, pungent, uh, all of that. So they're much more intense, whereas Gridior has this watery touch to it, which really um, makes the fragrance just so elegant, so effortless, and I just love it, especially out of the shower. This one is amazing. Like this is one that I get out of the shower, I spray it on and I wear it all day. Gridior is just incredible. Uh, if you don't know how it smells, it's rose, it's patchouli, but like I said, uh, usually rose and patchouli is very intense, but in here it's done very watery. And like I just said, ethereal as well. Like there's this beautiful watery, slightly powdery, but very soft and transparent. So agree you're from Christian Dior, one of my favorites actually. Next up we have Chanel Chanteau Fresh. Do I need to say more? Perfect. This one lasts a long time though. This one lasts a long time on your skin. It's sharp, citrus, uh, lemon, cedar wood, a little bit bitter, which I love, a little bit of a fruity touch to it, like tiny bit. It's just amazing. It's mostly just citrus, lemon, cedar wood, but it's one of my favorite fresh out of the shower fragrances for sure. I adore this scent, especially in the summertime. It's very refreshing to wear, very clean, and it lasts forever on your skin. Like really, Chanel Chanteau Fresh lasts forever on my skin personally, so definitely a recommendation. I actually have three unisex fragrances, so welcome to the guys. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and mention them. The first one is Molecular One. This is probably most people's go-to fresh out of the shower scent because it just smells clean. It's very hard to describe. It's a molecule-based fragrance with Ice We Super. So everyone has a different way of describing it. I don't even know how to describe it. To me, it smells like a little, um, a little woody, but very fresh, very like white linen, like white linen, but very watery, very fresh, a little woody. It's very difficult to describe, but it's an incredible fragrance actually. Like to me, this one is mind blowing how you spray it on, you don't smell it, but like everybody else in the world can smell it on your skin, but you can't smell it. It's just a crazy fragrance, but I love it, especially out of the shower. This is one that I just love to wear out of the shower and it's great. Molecular One from Eccentric Molecules. So we have Hermes Un Jardin Sur Le Trois. Now this one, again, perfect. It's one that I like to travel with actually because to me, it immediately makes me feel awake. It makes me feel fresh. It makes me feel like I smell really damn good. 
and it makes me happy as well this scent like this is a scent that actually makes me smile because of how it smells it's got some apple like grass like this green grassy note but it's just amazing like i really love this uh this scent and actually this line in general the um jardin line from hermes it is so good so like a fresh crisp cut grass with apple it's a little fruity but not too much it's just amazing so un jardin sur le toit perfect out of the shower for men or women the final unisex fragrance is atelier cologne pacific lime now i haven't heard anybody talk about this one and i love it like i really love it and i'm gonna have to look up the notes because it's reminding me of a fragrance right now oh my god like i just really love this scent like so much it almost has a little bit of a mintiness to it like a tiny bit which i adore it has some bergamot, some coconut. I don't really get the coconut too much. I more get like this fresh, a little green, citrusy, uh, juicy, and some mintiness to it. It's just amazing. Like the scent itself is incredible. Straight out of the shower, whoa. Like this one is like top notch. So Pacific Lime from Atelier Cologne. I'm like obsessed with Atelier Cologne right now. Like I want to own every single one. Um, because I really love the brand. This one again, like most of Atelier Cologne, the, this line doesn't last too long on your skin, but if you're just wearing it straight out of the shower and you love the scent, who cares? So Pacific Lime from Atelier Cologne. Okay, so moving on to the men. The first fragrance that I have is from Amouage and it's Beloved Man. Now for me, this one is pretty intense to wear straight out of the shower, but I'm still recommending it because I love it. And it is one of the more fresher offerings from Amouage, and it's one of my favorite actually for men. Oh, whoa. Like, whoa. This one is so good. Oh, it's fresh, citrusy, aromatic, woody. It's just incredible. It has like a balsamic sort of vibe, but not too much. Like, it's definitely not too much. It's a touch of a little sweetness, citrusiness, aromatic for sure and woody like it's very masculine to me this scent is very masculine and straight out of the shower like amazing so beloved man from amouage okay so the next fragrance is eau sauvage parfum from christian dior i love this it's classic masculine soapy it reminds me along the lines of like grey vetiver from tom ford but i prefer eau sauvage parfum because it smells higher quality to me like this Christian Dior is an incredible brand. It's been around for obviously years. Francois de Marquis is amazing. Like, uh, it's Christian Dior, so you know that the quality is there. Eau Sauvage Parfum to me, uh, like I just said, it's soapy, a little citrusy, like the vetiver in there, definitely. But there's definitely like this real soapiness to the scent, but for me, it's perfect out of the shower. I love Eau Sauvage Parfum, and it's one of the best that you could just spritz on straight out of the shower. The next fragrance is from Mise en Seur, and this is White Neroli. Also could be worn on a woman, but I'm going to recommend it to men because I know, for me, I love to smell Neroli on a man. But I will say, if you're comparing it to something like Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford, personally, I prefer White Neroli from Mise en Seur, but it is a little more feminine than Neroli Portofino. So definitely try this one, guys. If you don't want to smell like any little bit feminine, then definitely try it first because it does have a few feminine touches to it from the orange blossom that's in here, I believe, and some musk. But... It is my favorite Neroli fragrance currently. It is incredible. It's Neroli, Bergamot. Uh, it's just, it's simple. Like, it's very simple. It's classic. It's incredible. It's fresh out of the shower. Like, one of the best. And I love it. So definitely check this one out. White Neroli from Mise en Seur. Next up, we have Roger Parfum's Elysium Cologne. D do I need to say more? I don't need to say anything. It's juicy it's a little like uh it's juicy it's citrusy it's fresh but there's a lot of depth to it which i love it's a little bit of a fruity touch to it some masculine notes in there and it's just amazing like it's it's such a good fragrance especially fresh out of the shower like it's one of my favorites uh i actually mentioned i actually mentioned it in another video it's probably my favorite like white t-shirt scent right now like of all time for men this is like the best white t-shirt fragrance and especially fresh out of the shower spritz it on 
incredible. Roger Parfums Elysium Cologne. Next up. Next up we have one of my favourite fragrances, fresh fragrances of all time, Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. Now, I'm going to be honest, my boyfriend wears this fresh out of the shower like every day and I die for it. Like it's such an incredible scent. It is the most authentic citrus fragrance that I've ever tried. It's blood orange but to me how I describe it is it just smells like orange juice. It smells like real authentic orange juice. Fresh, a little bitter incredible like you spray this on and you feel awake like you literally feel awake when you spray this on so i highly recommend this one just straight out of the shower it is so 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 good yes longevity is not great but when you have a fragrance that smells as authentic as this who cares and then the final fragrance is goldfield and bank specific rock moss perfect fresh watery juicy a little fruity a little salty a little aquatic it's just amazing like it's my favorite like marine fragrance because I'm not the biggest fan of like marine fragrances but this one does it so well so this is like one of my favorite ones straight out of the shower I wear this one a lot you can see it myself like this is me wearing this and I love it just straight out of the shower so yeah Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Banks so that is it you guys I hope that you enjoyed this video of my recommendations for fresh out of the shower fragrances uh, I personally do it like every day like I shower and I spritz something on straight away then if I'm going to run errands I change fragrances or I'll leave the same one depending on longevity and then if I come home I'm showering I'm going to meet someone for dinner or coffee or whatever I change again so I'm somebody who likes to wear like many 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 fragrances throughout the day so yes thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will talk to you soon bye